Kate Gilmore, and I'm the Deputy Executive Director at the United Nations Population Fund. And I have responsibility for something called programming, which means I get to help decide and influence what we do in towns and cities all around uh, the place, including in Africa. For young people, there will be no future for sexual reproductive health unless together we make it relevant, accessible and about young people. Young people are not just the future, they're today. They were yesterday and they'll be tomorrow. We have to do three things, I think. We have to make sure that we give young people the tools. We hand over resources to young people to empower them to determine their own lives. Secondly, we have to get rid of all the barriers that stand in the way between a young person and their physical and sexual autonomy. And that means culture and tradition, but it also means barriers such as discrimination and bigotry. But the most important thing, I think older people have to get out of the way. And out of the way means we have to make space at decision-making tables. We have to listen to young people's voices. We have to recognise the expertise that is in uh, young people as they come to look at the world's problems. And uh, if we could do those three things powerfully together, and the United Nations Population Fund is very committed to that, if we could do that powerfully together, watch out world, here we come.